I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a food chain which goes to a food chain which goes to a food web which goes to an ecosystem. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is take two fingers over here and put a dot and from that dot we're going to draw a slightly wavy wavy line over to the right. Then we take four fingers from that point and put a dot and now we're going to draw a wavy 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 line over to the right. Starting down here on the bottom I'm just going to put a dot and I'm going to draw a curved line up over straight line down curved line and leave it floating come back to the dot we're just going to draw a little curved line up in straight line curve line over straight line connect we're just going to put some little straight lines anywhere is fine and some dots and we'll come back and label this in a minute now we draw a straight line in a triangle and we put a dot and from that dot we're just going to draw wavy line to the right wavy line to the left curve line up and down on the right curve line up down on the left little curve line in on the left little curve line in on the right big curve line down up in connect right here we're just going to draw a curve line straight line straight line connect baby circle baby circle and then one, two, three, four, five little curve lines. One, two, three, four, five little curve lines. And straight line triangle. Now we put a dot up here and we draw a curve line down, curve line, curve line, curve line up, and leave it floating. Come back to the dot, little curve line in little curve line out curve line down and mimic those lines again and connect come up to the top we're just going to draw curve line little straight line curve line dot and then inside the space we're just going to draw curve lines curve lines up down up down, up, down, up, down, up, and then dot, 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 dot. Now we draw a curve line and a baby triangle. We put a dot. From this dot, we're going to draw a big curve line down. Wavy line, wavy line. Come back to the dot. We're going to draw a little curve line in. Come back to the dot. Curve line down up, connect, little curve line, dot, slightly curve line down and connect. Right about here we draw a big circle, baby circle, and now we're just going to draw some lines going down. Okay, now come up to this middle point. And we're going to put baby circles, baby circles, baby circles, baby circles, doesn't matter how many, baby circles, baby circle. Then we come in and we just draw a curve line connect, 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 curve line connect. Then every other space we just draw some wavy lines, curve lines, inside, outside, going around, <clears throat> excuse me, and some inside if you have room. Then we draw a straight line in a triangle. 
Right here we put a dot. We draw an oval. We draw a straight line out, curve line down, up, connect. Right here we just draw a straight line, curve line down, connect. Come back to the dot, curve line, little baby curve line, connect, put a dot. Now, come up here and we're just going to draw one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Now we draw a straight line, curve line, I mean straight line, baby triangle, put a dot, and a little curve line, bigger curve line, bigger curve line, leave them floating, little curve line, little curve line, curve line up, over, and connect. Right down here, baby circle, one, two, right here, baby circle, baby circle. Now we draw straight line, baby triangle, put a dot. We're going to draw a pretty good sized circle. Inside the circle we draw a curve line in, curve line out, draw it again, curve line in, curve line out, connect. Underneath, baby circle, baby circle, dot, dot, little curve line, straight diagonal down, up, connect, two dots, and now let's draw this again. And inside, we'll just put some little straight lines. Okay, now come over here, and we're just going to draw a curve line down, come back up, curve line, curve line down, connect. We're going to put a dot, draw a little curve line, curve line up, in, straight line down, straight line, curve line out, straight line down, one, curve line up, down, connect, one, two, three, four, five, dot, 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 dot. Let's put a baby circle and let's put some curve line skinny, curve line skinny connect. All right, now we're going to label. This down here is a food chain. This right here is another example of another food chain. This at the very top is a desert ecosystem. Ecosystem. And now we'll describe straight line baby triangle. A food web is all of the food chains in an ecosystem. System. A food chain, let's put another straight line baby triangle, a food chain outlines who eats whom. Okay, so two food chains, or more than two food chains really, there's a lot of different food chains make up a food web. The food web is part of the bigger desert ecosystem. So down here we're going to put, this is a saguro. I'm probably saying that wrong, saguaro cactus, who is part of the food chain of a wood rat, which is part of a food chain, <clears throat> excuse me, of a diamond back rattlesnake, 
which is part of the food chain for a red tail hawk. Okay, up here, this is a brittle br bush, brittle bush, it's all flowers, which goes up to the grasshopper, which goes to the mouse, <clears throat> which ultimately goes to the elf owl. Okay, that's a lot of writing. Pause it. Copy it. Now we're ready to color. Okay, when you color a chart like this, you go, oh my goodness, it's so confusing. All right, so we're going to do minimal colors, and probably the most important color is the red that I'm putting on right now so that you can see all of these straight line, curved lines, ending with baby triangles to make the direction of how everybody is eaten. Next, I come in with my black, and I'm just going to color in all of the black parts of these critters because that's important and theoretically you could stop right there and not color anymore but because we want to show some of this we're just going to go ahead and plow ahead so yellow green for the cactus whoops I'm sorry for this space yellow green for this space and yellow green for the in-between part of this space. I was surprised when I looked up this food chain and they call this a brittle bush and it was all flowery. It was all yellow. So we'll, let's get our yellow flowers going. Which is interesting because we're out in the desert. The desert ecosystem. Okay, so we're going to use yellow. We're going to come up and do yellow over here. And let's use a brown for this space and this space. You know, you don't want to use too much color because you don't want to lose all your drawings you just spent forever drawing. Make this little guy this guy brown now you can draw your own food chain this is the one I chose the two that I chose from the desert okay in my diamond back I'm just gonna do some of these parts brown on top and then my most important color for this specific ecosystem because it is the desert is gray so I'm going to use gray on the grasshopper I'm going to use gray on the elf owl gray on my red tail hawk gray on my diamond back you know you can take more time coloring these in but that's the general idea. Last, I'm going to put my beaks orange. Some of them are black, but I needed a pop of color. So I'm going to do artistic license on that. Add some turquoise blue in my sky. And I think that's it. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, so here is my ecosystem, my food chains, which equal up to a food web. Okay, bye-bye.